hi guys i hope everyone is fine and if you are new to my channel this is nancy please subscribe share and like my videos and don't forget to put on your notification bell to be notified whenever i upload new videos thank you in today's tutorial i would like to show you how to make this beautiful umbrella dress i'll be using this african ankara print and the maximum length is by 45 inches i'll fold it this way in form of a triangle then i'll mark the edge of the fabric using the tailor's chalk now i'll fold it into two this way in such a way that the point i marked will be the center of the fold this will take two yards or two and a half yards depending on how full you want the dress to be After folding properly, I will hold the edge of the fabric. Then I will fold it over into four in form of a triangle. Then I will place it this way in order to get the accurate length of the dress. So these are the measuring tools I used. A multi-purpose driller, a scissors, and a tape, and you can also use the freehand method. It is obvious it is in the form of a triangle, so what you'll be needing is the bust measurement. The bust measurement for this client is 36 inches, and if I divide by 4, I would have 9 inches. Then I'll add 1 inch seam allowance, and that will be 10 inches. Now you place the tape this way to mark 10 inches. Then use a straight ruler to extend the line, forming a triangle. So the next measurement to take is half of the round arm hole. A round arm hole is 16 inches and if I divide by 2, I will have 8 inches. Then I will place it on the bust line. Since it's an off shoulder dress, I'll subtract 4 inches from it. But if you have a bust of 40, 45, you can subtract 5 inches. But here yeah, I'll be subtracting 4 inches. I'll mark the 4 inches and I'll extend the line. To be sure you know what you are doing, the length of the triangle should be the same at the side. Yeah, I have 13 inches on both sides. So on this line, I have 8.5 inches on both sides. So now we can move on to the next measurement. On this line, I'll measure the neck width. For the neck width, you divide the shoulder measurements by 4 inches and that will be 16 divided by 4 and I'll have 4 inches then I'll mark it on the line now I'll use a French curve to connect the neck width down to the bust line to form the ham O as shown So for the neck depth on this side, it depends on how you want the neck to be, if it is a round or a v-neck. But I want it to be a v-neck. And I'll go down by 1.5 inches or 2 inches depending on how deep you want the neck to be. Then I'll use a French curve to connect the line down to the edge of the neck width. Having done this, now I would trim out the neck and the ham o. Now the next measurement is to take the length of the dress. The length of the dress is 38 inches. I'll add 2 inches seam allowance and that will be 40 inches. Then I'll place the tape 
on the bust line starting from 8 inches then I'll mark 14 inches all through Now you connect the lines together and then you cut it out. Remember we folded into four so I'll have to cut this side open. So when you open it up, you should have something like this. Now you open it up this way and you should have two panels. For the straps, I'll fold the ammo by half an inch and I'll fold it further in by half an inch and then I'll pin all through. I'll repeat the same thing for the other side of the ammo. Now for the other panel, I'll fold the ham all the same way I folded the first panel. So after pinning, you secure the ammo with a straight stitch using a sewing machine. Now I am done sewing the ammo for the straps. Remember, I deducted four inches from the neckline, and that was eight inches. So now I'll add one inches, and that will be nine inches. The one inches for the seam allowance. Then I'll use two inches for the wideness of the straps. So by the time I fold it, I should be having half inch. I repeat the same thing to cut the second strap. Now I'll fold the opposite sides by half an inch and I'll fold it further in by half an inch and I'll secure it with this straight stitch. I'll repeat the same thing for the other straps. Now I'll turn the panel to the right side then I'll place the strap on the right side of the fabric as shown. 
I'll use a pin to secure it. And I'll secure the other strap. Having done this, I'll take a 2 inches band to turn it and sew it this way. On the panel which I sewed the straps, I'll place it on the right side of the other panel this way. Then I'll use a band in form of a bias to turn the neckline over. So after sewing the straps, it should give me 4 inches since I deducted 4 inches from the neckline. So I have 4 inches on both sides. That means it is accurate. Now we are almost done. So I'll sew the two sides by 1 inch. Finally, after sewing the sides by 1 inch, the next thing is to sew the M line. And that will be done by folding it half an inch and folding it further in by half an inch. Hello guys, so this is the how to come up the dress. You should give it a try and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, share and like my videos. And don't forget to put on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you.